Each of us is given a certain set of gifts and I think it is our responsibility to use those gifts to look around us and say, what do others need? With someone like Richard Colburn, you have someone who has had a lifelong commitment to, a lifelong connection with music, and someone who believes all young people should have that same access. The arts, we call them essentials at our school, and if it is essential to one's development and well-being, we as adults have to do whatever it takes to make sure that access to what's essential is never taken away. Since it's something that they enjoy, that's not something that makes it frivolous. It's something that helps them understand what it's like to feel good about learning. Music matters because we are building people. I always tell them I don't need you to become the next Yo-Yo Ma or a professional musician. Your priority is to become someone who can deal with adversity and get through difficult things. And it's very unfortunate that sometimes only those who have means are given an opportunity to take an instrument, to explore uh, performing with others. We tend to cut the thing they need most. We have the ability to support scholarships, to support financial aid, really those fundamental tools for removing barriers and providing access. Richard uses his passion to help make that access happen, not just today, but over many years. I want him and others to know that he is like a perfect stranger to my kids, but his commitment to music education is crafting stories that matter, that are yet to be written in ways that nobody knows. You're giving a child the opportunity to have the tools to get through life, to become independent individuals and train them to be independent in the world. We really all owe a, a tremendous and lasting debt of gratitude and a huge thank you uh, to Richard Colburn and the Nagani Foundation. Thank you, Mr. Colburn, for supporting music education. Thank you, Mr. Colburn. Thank you, Mr. Colburn. Thank you, Richard.